Productions present Sunday afternoon, June 26th, Festa Italiana at the outdoor event space at the Franklin Steakhouse in Fairfield. Headlining direct from Canada, classic recording artist Franz Jolie. Franz Jolie. Italian singing sensation Biagio. Plus, Uncle Louie's Variety Show. That's Biagio. Franz Jolie. Hosted by CBS FM's Joe Corsi and Paul Bruno. It's Festa Italiana at 1 p.m. Sunday, June 26th. Biagio. Franz Jolie. Joe Corsi. Paul Bruno. And special guest from the Wise Guy Show at the outdoor event space at the Franklin Steakhouse in Fairfield. For tickets, go to festa.eventbrite.com. Welcome back to the Wise Guy Show. Uh, you were just looking at uh, Biagio's uh, video. Uh, P- 
Pico, his new... Uh, Piccolo Grande Amore. That's it. Piccolo Grande Amore. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, we, we started off with it. Um, and uh, welcome to the Wise Guy Show. I am Freddie the Fireman, the host. I'm here with Jumpin' Gennaro. Not so. And uh, obviously, Joey Cat is in Florida. Hello, Joey Cat. How Jose. you doing? Giuseppe, I know Giuseppe you're watching. Gatto. Um And uh, Biagio was unavailable tonight. He had a uh, business. And uh, Paul Bruno, I don't know where he is. But I got to say, let's start off um, with the, the Wise Guy show. It was a, How was everybody's Mother's Day? Was it good, Mike? Awesome. Uh, you know what? I, I actually had a, a really nice experience. I'm visiting some, some family friends I uh, haven't seen in a while. And uh, my kids and my wife were saying, wait a minute. This is not Father's Day. This is <laughs> Mother's Day. <Yeah. laughs> but in the end, uh, we actually I went with my wife and my mother-in-law and my mother and... Uh, and we visited and uh, some friends, and and we actually made their Mother's Day really, really special. One of my dear friends of the family, uh, he, he lost his son uh, very young at 30 years old. So we uh, we brought a plan and some and, uh, and some uh, goodies, and we we're happy to see him. And then uh, they were very, very, very appreciative. And and so uh, sometimes it's about reaching out to others that you know. Uh, definitely could use some encouragement and some inspiration so that's it was a spiritual experience for mother's day for us yeah oh really well, it's a great time of the year after easter you got mother's day and then we go into father's day and uh, i just hope i uh, wished every we wished everybody a uh, happy mother's day and uh um, you know, this show is also a countdown, kind of part two to the Festa Italiana that we're a part of on uh, June 26th with uh, Franz Jolie, uh, the Uncle Louie Variety Show, and the Italian singing sensation Biagio. There's uh, so many others that are part of this event. Uh, it's going to be a great time. This is all taking place at the Franklin Steakhouse in Fairfield, New Jersey. Uh, you saw the video at the beginning and uh, hope to see you there. It's going to be a great time. We always have a great time. And yeah, uh, if you don't, we're going to definitely be there, but somebody made a request to help them make the Zaples. So go by the Zaples stand if you don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you, don't see, you don't see it, sir. So go by the Zaples. But well, anyway. <laughs> uh, I do want to say something that's uh, very important to us. Uh, uh, a friend of the show uh, is no longer with us. Uh, he, he passed uh, so suddenly. Um, I actually uh, reached out to him, and uh, we usually try to get him to uh, come in and do a little co-hosting. Uh, we spoke about this. He would have probably been here tonight uh, because wow. Biagio wasn't going to be here, and we were going to reach out to some co-hosts, uh, uh, you know, part-time co-hosts for the Wise Guy Show. Our fr good friend, uh, we want to send our prayers and our condolences to the family and friends of comedian and uh, actor. He did everything. Uh, Mario Gentile. Uh, I can't tell you how, how things happened. Mario was uh, posting the day before he passed. Uh, he was on Facebook. He was a young kid. He was 40 years old. He's, uh, and, and it's just, wow. uh, I believe it was right around 40 years old. And uh, I, I can't tell you some things in life uh, happen and you just don't know what's going on. Uh, so, again, uh, we, we're sorry uh, to the family and friends of uh, Mario Gentile. Uh, may he rest in peace. Yes, uh, peace. Yeah. So uh, on another note, uh, later tonight we have a guest who is a voice specialist, and we've done a lot of voice people in the past, but yeah. this guy's, uh, <laughs> they're great. This guy's had quite a, quite a resume. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tony, I call him Tony the Tiger Daniels. Obviously his name is Tony Daniels. Um, he is a voice, uh, he has done Tony the Tiger, um, and also the, uh, the Avengers, X-Men, so many others we're going to get into when he come, when he calls in. But I got to say, this is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, he's uh, in the mood to uh, do some voices tonight, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, shortly, uh, we're going to be going to a Zoom, a live Zoom, with um, the Uncle Louie Variety Show and uh, uh, Mike uh, Marino, the, the New Jersey bad boy of comedy. Uh, we're going to be promoting their uh their uh, show in Nyack, uh, New York. Uh, it's always going to be interesting with these guys uh, anytime that we connect with them. Uh, Louis Greco and Carla Russo are uh, a, a, a dynamic duo. And Mike Marino, he's, he's just been a, a family of ours for years and uh, always, always puts on a great show. So this is going to be very, very interesting 
combination, an, an awesome chemistry. I figure about five minutes, I think, we'll, 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 we'll break off and yeah, go gonna... right to the Zoom. Uh, Mike Marino uh, at an Uncle Louie Variety Show. It doesn't get any better than that. And uh, West Nyack, they got two nights. Uh, they got May 20th and the 21st. And, 21st, yeah. and two shows both nights. Uh, one Back to back. Back to back. Uh, the 20th is at 7.30 and 9.45. And the, the second one uh, the next day on the 21st is at 7 p.m. to 9.30. I think we're going to that one, but we, we, we're, we're, we don't know yet. Um, but uh, we're looking forward to that. That's the plan. Mike, today's show is, spon- is uh, sponsored by uh, a bunch of our sponsors. Let's start off with Troy Anello Cigars, yes, who sponsors sir. us. Uh, check Mike out Troy Anello and Family yes. Incorporated. Go to the Troy Anello Cigars on Facebook and see all the stuff they have. Also, obviously, Rockabella Vodka, Rockabella Gives, uh, Cheryl Lee. Uh, can't tell you how much uh, I appreciate everything she's done for us with the vodka. Um, it's a great thing. It's a great story behind that vodka. Go check it out. Rockabella Vodka, Rockabella Gives, and uh, you'll see it's all an amazing sta- all story. All started with the triple flavored vodka. Of pineapple, coconut, oh, yeah. mango, amazing, and the and the uh, charity, the missionary uh, that started the mission of, uh, of course, for her husband, yeah, and Mark a, Lee, Mark, Mark Lee, Lee, as a as a fireman, yeah. of course. Also, our other sponsor, Harley Davidson and Morris yes, Plains, Bobby Bob Harley. Harley, yeah, Bob Harley, Roberto. Listen, they they got the best, one of the best Harley dealerships I've ever seen. What an amazing layout. Yeah, go to Mars Plains. Tell them the wise guys. Tell all our sponsors the wise guys sent you. I'm sure they'll take care of you. And uh, once they hear our name, they'll be uh, definitely be. Uh, but great people. Yes. Uh, and uh, from Abellino. Don't forget that. Now, we have other sponsors, as you can see in the back yeah. here. Uh, we have so many different other sponsors. But the the main ones we always got to mention, uh, they're, they're the ones that really uh, uh, carry us. Uh, Queen Margarita Romy Di Napoli, uh, Pasquale, my That's sister right. Maria. Miniax.com. Uh, Mark, you haven't seen him in a while. The guy, since COVID, Mini Mark, he's been booked. Uh, Mini Rocking Kiss. and rolling. They're all over the place. So uh, we wish you the best and hope to see you soon, Mark. Um, and now um, I got to say, um, we've been, you know, getting back into the swing of things after COVID. And we got so many things that we're working on. So many big surprises. You don't even know what we're working on. So our, we're going to wait and just keep coming to our page and uh, and checking us out. Yeah, you know what? We started out a little bit solemn, so uh, let's turn it around, Freddie. Uh, yeah. Well, one Uno, of- <laughs> dos, tres, hot show! One of the things, let's say right now, um, they just made me a capo of Jersey Pizza Joints. And I got to yeah. say, Guy, Guy Masson, thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it, it, it's an honor. Guy saw that I uh, do, uh, ad, uh, I'm an admin of many uh, Facebook pages, and I look after all the bad sh- stuff that goes on. And uh, uh, all the capos, Roy Roy Antonucci's a capo. We're, we're, all you guys, uh, I got to say, uh, I appreciate you guys for all the kind words that you said on the post. So Jersey Pizza Joints, Jersey Sandwich Joints, you guys are the best. And I got to tell you, I'm looking forward to doing more with you. And I got some good stuff coming your way. Just uh, hang in there and you'll see the announcements coming more and more. Um, I do want to mention one other thing, though. Uh, There is something very important that I won't be able to make. But Mike, I believe, is uh, Jersey Genevieve Rossi, the horror queen, yeah. wants to attend, uh, wants everyone to attend her uh, world premiere of her movie, uh, Attack of the Killer Chickens. This is Saturday, May 14th at 7 p.m. And then I think another viewing is at 9.30 p.m. Uh, I confirm with that if you if you go to her page. Genevieve Rossi, um, she's been working on this movie, and now she's premiering it. And I'm, uh, I, I got to say, it's at the Hawthorne Theater in Hawthorne, New Jersey. I will be in Utica for the Sal Valentinetti Biagio show. And uh, we, we th- this is what we do. We try to get to all the different places, and, and, and we're social media, and we bring it to you, all the good stuff. You got to check all this stuff out. It's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, if you can be there, just look for us, and, uh, you know, we, we got a lot to talk about. Um, uh, and I got to continue for one more thing before we get to the, the Zoom. We got about a minute, Mike. Yeah. Um, our, uh, our good friend, Uncle Floyd, has a Father's Day gift and, and Uncle Floyd is a legend. He's an original wise guy from the Wise Guy Show. 
that used to take place in New York at Cha Cha's in Little Italy. Mm-hmm. And um, he's doing a Father's Day gift for all those out there um, to do a phone call directly to your father. If you're interested, please tell him the wise guys sent you. Uh, you go to UncleFloyd.net and look up uh, Uncle Floyd phone call to your father for Father's Day. He's doing a promotion, and uh, and he's a great guy, and he's hilarious. Perfect uh, gift for your father. So uh, I, I got to tell you, you give it a shot, and you'll see that uh, it, your father will have a ball that knowing he just spoke to Uncle Floyd. He's he's just a funny guy, and I got to tell you, it's just uh, – He's still on the radio, right? Yeah. He's still on the radio. Yeah, he still does his stuff. And uh, and uh, one more thing with Jersey Pizza Joints, and then we'll take uh, we'll go. Uh, May is Mutz Madness Month. Okay, uh, this was created by Jersey Pizza Joints and Jersey Sandwich uh, Joints. Guy Matson and the crew want you to vote for the favorite mozzarella in New Jersey. So go to uh, Jersey Pizza Joints uh, and uh, vote. There's a voting thing. It started on May 1st, but it goes all the way through Memorial Day weekend, and the winner will be announced at the end of the weekend. So if you think you know who's got the best moots or you know somebody who's got the best moots, go to Jersey Pizza Joints on Facebook and cast your vote, and we'll know who's got the best mozzarella in the New Jersey. Yep. And and uh, and we're going to go probably go there and try it out. And uh, and I know Billy from Annabella's there. He's in, he's in that contest. The uh, Furies and the Hoboken, they're all in there. All the best mozzarella places, and uh, they're hard to compete with. I got to tell you, it's going to be something else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so... On that note, you ready? Yep, well, let's do We're it. We're going to go to the Zoom with uh, Mike Marino and the Uncle Louie guys and find out uh, how their uh, uh, West Nyack show is going. So uh, we'll be back and uh, f- just follow the Zoom. I'm down. All right, we're back here on the, on the Zoom with the Uncle Louie guys, Mike Marino, Jumpin' Gennaro, and uh, we're, we're here to promote the West Nyack show with Uncle Louie and Mike Marino. <laughs> Mike Marino, hey, listen, guys, I, we're going to definitely have a lot of fun in West Nyack. Uh, uh, you know, tell us about, you know, how this show even got about. I'll go first. <laughs> Don't all jump in at once. <laughs> Because I tell you right now, when you got this many Italian guys on a talk show, people are going to step on each other. So it came to my attention that these two guys are so damn funny that I said, I want to be part of that show. I don't know if I'm going to wear a wig or dress like a woman. I might, but I want to be part of that show. So here's what you're going to get when we come to West Nyack. A variety show that you can't stop laughing. And a stand-up comic that I swear I'm going to knock you out with some of the funniest new material you've ever heard in your entire life. And I can't tell you how happy I am to be on the show with the Uncle Louie Variety Show. Uno, due, tre, azzo! Lou, what's going on? It's going to be an awesome show. Honestly, when we knew we were getting together with Mike, we, we know Mike from way back. It, he's unbelievable he's, you know he, he's he's drop dead funny man and uh we knew when we got together with him this is going to be a pretty awesome special show so yeah we're uh cutting this thing down we're trying to get as as, as many characters in as possible you know and uh, i know carlo and i were we're like okay how are we going to do this we're going to cut it up and uh and you're going to get bits and pieces of the best when you get to nyack you're going to get a nabogi tutte cose? Tutte cose. E pure cannoli. Carl, what do you even know what this means, but you're going to get it. What's going on, Carlo? <laughs> Nothing, man. I just, I want to, My, I think I lost my voice last uh, Saturday. We were in uh, Governor's. We were at Brokerage. And we had such a good time. I lost my voice. So uh, I agree with, somebody's whistling. I agree with everybody, uh, what they've said before me. Uh, with Mike, we've been we've been uh, together with Mike now. My God, I think we opened for for him like six years ago uh, in Syracuse. That was our first big break. Uh, so we want to thank Mike and and everybody else that was there that night to give us that opportunity. But we've been become friends ever since. We've done shows together. We've hung out together on, on uh, personal ends as well. And I think we just have a great combination 
uh, between his comedy and our comedy. It works well together. And we're going to show that all out uh, this weekend or next weekend uh, at, uh, at the comedy club and uh, many, 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 many other things to come as well with Mike Marino and us. So this is just the beginning. Yeah, Levity Live is going to be is going to be outstanding in a couple of weeks. So we'll be at Levity Live for four shows out there. And uh, yeah, we did a show together in uh, Utica was unbelievable. Oh, my God. We right. had a blast. It was I'm laughing because when we were in Utica, what we were doing backstage was was hilarious. <laughs> so everybody who's watching this show right now, listen to this. Not only are you going to get stand up comedy but you're going to get sketch comedy from the most hilarious variety sketch comedy team on the circuit today. You get it all in one show for the same ticket price. I, I can't believe we're actually going to be doing this. We're sharing the stage. We're going to hurt people. My whole goal is to make somebody break a rib, spit up in a, a good tube, way, find them in a good way. And uh, then we're going to sign autographs. We're going to do a meet and greet. And then we're all going to have some pastas somewhere. So make sure you get your asses to West Nyack, Levity Live. I believe the dates are May 20 and 21, right? Yeah, you are correct. Let's show the poster. Hold on. Let's show the poster. Show the poster. The Uncle Louie Variety Show, May 20 at two shows, 7.30 p.m. and 9.45 p.m. And then May 21st, two shows again, 7 p.m and 9.30 p.m. At, uh, go to the improv.com, the Uncle Louie Variety Show.com yeah, for tickets. And um, uh, go at the, the show's going to be at 4210 Palisade Center Drive, A-401 West Nyack, New York. Make sure you're there. Yeah, it's at the Palisade Center Mall. Palisade. Levity Live. Levity Live. And, oh, and we're going to have a blast. I mean, every time I'm, Mike and us get together, it's, it's insane. It's insane from the start. It doesn't stop. It's and like it's just starts. I, I, I spent we need. a lot of time with Lou, and I got to know him really, really well in the trunk of a um, a car. We're good friends now. We know each other really well. I smelt his farts. It's unbelievable. <laughs> you know when you when when you do trunk time, that's real. That's real friendship. Yeah. I mean, that's what they say. Nothing like a good trunk time, especially trunk. for Italians. Yeah. Especially for Italians. And when, when you're part. invited into a trunk, two things can happen. You become yeah. friends or you become dead. One of the two. That's we, it. We Nothing had enough. a uh, we had a set <laughs> we're in a spot where we have one vehicle, everybody's jammed in this vehicle. We're like, oh, let's get in the back. Why how can it be can't be that bad? And then they they slam the thing shut and me like, like this chip. The, the funny thing is, as there's as they're smashed into the trunk of this car, the driver goes, why didn't we take my car? I have three rows. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of car was Ogadelac? Ogadelac? What we all learned on this trip was a newfound love for smoking marijuana. <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> it's legal in all you're doing in New Jersey, though. Know. Right. But hey, listen, I got to say, you guys, um, I, the Uncle Louie guys, I, I've, I've seen your act and I've seen Mike's act and um, we're friends for a long time. And I got to say, I'm so happy to see you guys together doing something together because you all uh, hit the same audience and it's all different comedy and, and it's a it's, it's great time. It's a great time. It and is. everybody, everybody that's in this call is working very hard to make America shine again. So yes. a, tribute, a tribute to Michael. We our are president, about our president, know. our president, Mike Marino. That's right. Making <laughs> America Italian again. Let me tell you something. I had a great meeting today with a big production company. And we're going to start shooting a series, Make America Italian Again. So I'm going to be calling all you guys to get ready to get in the game and stand behind the Italian pledge. You don't know nothing. You don't see nothing. And you don't say nothing. That's America. <laughs> all right, listen. All right, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create the stage like they do for the Gilio, and we'll have Columbus on top of the stage, and we're all carrying on our shoulders. Yes. Uno, dos, tres, 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 tres.
<laughs> Let me tell you something, Jumping Gennaro. You need to get rid of that stool pigeon. <laughs> I told you he's going to be starting tweeting, man. He's he's excited to. I told him that you were going to be on the show with the with the the, oh, that is the a variety show. He got excited. He's excited. I have a newfound oh. love for a whistling parrot. Well, I'm on a talk show. I thought it was, I, I, I must have missed that. I didn't know they had a bird there. I thought it was somebody's microphone. <laughs> oh, that's, that's how annoying it is. Oh, that, you know why? You didn't meet him. You're the only one who didn't meet Don Chief. There's an actual Later bird. Later on, we'll bring okay. him in. We'll do that's either that or it's like a hundred year old nun who's sitting in the corner. I was like, <laughs> what is that annoying sound? But now I know it's your pet. Not annoying at all. <laughs> but, um, Listen, I'm looking forward to being, I don't know what show we're going to be at, um, but uh, we're going to We're gonna thank Tony Napoli for uh, wanting us to promote this. Uh, and uh, I got to say, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. If, if you don't buy tickets to this show, you're crazy because Uncle Louie, Mike Marino, it's just a... Uh, it's a night out and, 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 and they just sold out uncle Louie guys. You just sold out just uh, recently. And uh, I, if you didn't see the video and see all them people going, I look, even in PA, when we did that show in PA, the That's place fun. was going nuts. And uh, you know, with Mike Marino there, it's just a, a, a positive. Hey, double the fun, double the pleasure, double the comedy, double headline, double my pay. Hey, <laughs> you know, and you know we love the wise guys. We yeah. love you guys, man. Yeah, guys. Please, we appreciate come out, everybody. We'll, we'll, we'll hey, roll out the red carpet for the wise guys show. Whatever you want, yeah. come on. Bring the fire engine. Look, we got to do skits. Leave the bird at home. Let me finish. Leave the bird at the house, <laughs> and then come with come with the chickens. If we want, hey, if we want to hey, quiet Carlo. the bird down, just bring in the grill. Yeah. <laughs> so. Carlo, you were not hearing the conversation earlier, but uh, my wife is born in West Nyack, so it's oh. going to be nice to visit. Yeah. Well, oh, that's, oh, that's, that's going to be nice. Homecoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun, man. You guys are great. I, I we want to thank you again for uh, for what we did in uh, Philly. You guys were that was a, such a great night, and can't wait to do it again. And Mike, you know we love you to death. We had such a great time in Syracuse. And uh, we'll get you back in the trunk. We'll get you back in the trunk, brother. See the goosa, see the goosa. All right, well, goosa. before we go back to the studio, let me say it one more time. The Uncle Louie Variety Show will be in West Nyack at the Palisade Center, uh, Palisade Center Drive, oh, Levity Live. Um, uh, where was it again, Lou? Uh, the, Palisade the Center. You can get your tickets at the Uncle Louie Variety Show.com. Get the Uncle Louie Variety Show.com. Get all your tickets there. You can buy tickets for also Gotham in New York City as well. We're going to be at the 22nd. Okay. And again, two shows you, May 20th, 7 30 p.m. and 9 45 p.m. And then May 21st, 7 p.m. and 9 30 p.m. And uh, I'm telling you, we're, we're looking forward to it. I want to thank you guys for uh, joining us here. Thank to Tony Napoli for putting this all together. And uh, we're going to get back to the studio and continue with the Wise Guy Show. Thank you, guys. All right, boys. Love you guys. Have Love you, guys. Thank Love you for you. having us. Love we'll you. See you soon. We'll see you soon. Ciao. 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 Back to the studio. All right. We're back here on the Wise Guy Show, and uh, that was a great Zoom, Mike. Come on. Them guys, Mike Marino. Uh, and listen, I'm sorry Uncle if, if my bird got a little bit out of control, but he was getting excited because they... They knew we were going to be Zooming with you guys. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm telling you, don't forget, uh, it's uh, West Nyack. Um, the show oh, is... Oh, and uh, real quick, uh, I just want to say, um, uh, I did mention before uh, that Sal the Voice, uh, Biagio, and Anthony La, La Barbera uh, on Saturday, May 14th at 8 p.m. at the Stanley Theater in Utica, New York. And uh, don't forget the West Nyack show in... Uh, and at the uh, Palisade Center, um, with you, it's going to be a great time. The Uncle Louie guys, the wise guys, we're all doing a lot of good things. Now Mike Marino, <laughs> it's only going in the right direction. All right, so uh, now uh, let's go to our caller. Uh, who do we have on the phone? It's Gambit. Who? Gambit. Gambit. So uno, <laughs> two, two, three, hot so. Welcome, Tony Daniels, the voice <laughs> specialist. Thank you so much, Tony, for joining us tonight. Uh, we were so looking forward to it. How you doing? I, I'm good. You know, uh, I was thinking about what I said to you fellas because you know uh, 
I'm in a mood tonight. You know what I mean? I got to do a bunch of stuff tomorrow. It's just driving me crazy. How you doing? Good, uh, good. I'm so looking forward to it. And, and uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it was you. You you did the, the Tony Tiger, Tony the Tiger commercial, the hockey uh, vi- uh, commercial. Was that you? Yes, I've done. I, I've done quite a few. I started in 2005. I worked with the actual guy. Well, technically the second guy, believe it or not. Dallas McKinnon did it in 1950-something. For about a year, and then they hired Bull Ravenscroft, and that lasted till 2005 when he passed. And I was working with him in 2004 doing, you know, especially Mark Boxes, you know. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they had him for like 15 minutes, and he was on, um, he was on oxygen. He comes in, and, you know, and, and uh, they're like, uh, Tony, you have to sit down because we've got Thurl. <laughs> and uh, so they put Thurl up there, and he's like. Try to Tony's turbos, they're great. And then they only have him 15, and he leaves, and they go, man, we didn't get a clean one. I went, you mean Tony's turbos? They went, oh, you can, yeah. And you know where else you know his voice from, you guys? You know him from this. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Oh, that was it? That was the same guy that did uh, yeah. original Tony the Tiger? Yeah, this, well, yeah, uh, technically, yeah, 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 yeah. so... Yeah, it's crazy, man. So, you but, know, but with a I, name I like just, Tony Daniels, you, you you should have Tony the Tiger Daniels <laughs> as your well, nickname. It's, <laughs> well, it's the funniest thing because um, my 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 family is half uh, Sicilian, oh. and our our coat of arms is a tiger. That's our nickname. Right, right. That's that's not so, not so. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so my father's Reno Tiger. That's what they call him. Nice. Is your, are you Tony or Antonio? No, I'm Tony. To New York. Get out of the way. Yeah. Born you're you're born in Canada. Where what part of Canada? Uh Toronto, where there are more Italians than Italy. Yes. Toronto. Yes. Toronto. You're right. You're Toronto. Right. Definitely. Uh Allora, allora, speciale italiano, no. Eh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Parli italiano, bravo. But I I'm gonna tell you si, si. how about I, Tony the Tiger in Italian? Eh, come si dice? Come Sono si buone! Dice. <laughs> Sono buone! Sono buono! All right, buono. so now you talk, instead of talking about Frosted Flakes, we're talking about a beautiful uh, plate of linguine con vongole. <laughs> Sono buone! As Tony the Tiger. <laughs> hey, uh, throw a nice steak on there, I'm happy, eh? Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, I did, I, I did look at some interviews with you, and uh, before I say anything, I want to thank Gary Demers for uh, having you, uh, uh, getting you on our show. Gary's a great guy. He does a lot for a lot of different he, uh, celebrities. He was a great guy, but I think a little contract on him, you know what I mean? Oh, sorry, was that <laughs> but I wanted to say, I did see a couple interviews with you, and you do have that voice. You have an amazing voice. I'm surprised you never did. Did you do any radio before? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I was in radio. In fact, uh, I'm still kind of on part time with Howard Stern. So, oh, okay. um, yeah, but n- not not like a ton. Um, and uh, yeah, um, how do you so like I, you wor- know, did, how do you like working with him? Yeah, no, he's he, you know, he's good to me. And uh, I love working with. Uh, well, I know I've known Gary Balabate and Fred Norris forever. But I just love uh, Sal and Richard. Sal, uh, Governale and I are we're, we're close. We like each other a lot. Not that we're doing funny, weird stuff. But hey, no, whatever like happened to Baba Booey? Baba Booey. He's around. He's yeah. around. He's, he, uh, yeah, he's he's there every day. But, you didn't you know, whack him remotely. too, did you? Not yet, but it could be. <laughs> listen, listen, I got to tell you. And you know, I don't know if you know this, guys. I played guitar for seven years with Dominic Canese, Uncle Junior. Oh, yes. Awesome. We sang a song with him. Yeah. Yes. At the, at the, uh, at the, uh, the, so, the Bob Con, right? Hey, yeah, you yeah. saw it. Did yeah. you saw it, huh? I, I saw it. I, I, had, I had to see it. I got the video. And, were, yeah, were, you really weren't cool. there, though. Did you come to MobCon? No, I was away. I was doing this uh, Olympic thing. So, you know, like when I'm not doing the fun stuff, I'm doing more fun stuff, which is uh, – uh, I, 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 this has been a crazy couple of years. It's been amazing. But I was doing – I was away doing the Olympics, you know, tonight – the Olympics live from Tokyo, you know, all that stuff and, and do all the promo voices for that. Yeah. And then, uh, it's you know, know, I know. Been... Ah, gee. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not that's Italian. That's Japanese. It's, you know, I know. Yeah, no, no. Listen, I, uh, years ago I had to do, you know, all the X-Men versus street fighter, all the games. Right. So I, I was doing Gambit and a bunch of the characters. And, uh, one of the things that was really cool was 
I voiced it in English, and then they had an interpreter, and they would make me do it in Japanese. Oh, I got to go but I, you know, it was really cool. Yeah, so yeah, it was fun, man. Um, I got to say, uh, you're you're to, you're a legend. Let's let's face it, you're you're a total legend. If you look at your history of uh, voices, and 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 it's just goes on and on. I didn't even have enough ink on in my pen to, to write every character that you I did. Was re- I don't know if this is true, but I was hearing something about that you got inspired by seeing uh, an eagle flying and going, <laughs> some crazy thing. And, that, and that's where it all started. Is that true? <laughs> no. No, I, I had to work for the Phil... The Philly Eagles for two years. <laughs> I was doing uh, some funny uh, bits for them with this. Uh, this wait a animator. minute! You wait a minute! You're serious? Now you're pulling my leg. I'm not. I'm not. I, for two years, I was doing that, and it's really funny because um, you know I just got to say something. I just made that up, by the way. <laughs> I, had, see, I knew yeah, nothing I knew, about knew that, fun. but look at that. We already got a connection. Yeah. See what happens? Yeah, when... exactly. That's the way it works. Yeah, but yeah, I was uh, I was working uh, these managers. I had they had this uh, kid. He was. Doing all this stuff for the Eagles, so I ended up at Fly Eagles, Fly, you know, and it was really good because uh, wow, that, that is playing, yeah, that is I wild. Yeah, that is wild. I just finished playing just playing a mind. wise guy in Tommy Waits' new film, and uh, you remember Thomas G. Waits from uh, the Warriors? Yeah, yeah, well, we, we, were, we we were on the the Johnny P. Show. He was the 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 headliner guest, and he, we were yeah, guests. He, we were he, co- he was jamming with yeah. his band. Yeah, first. he was jamming with his Wait, band. Yeah. That was me with the band. Oh, oh wow. wow! I didn't know that. Uno, dos, tres, hot show. <laughs> oh, we were having so me, you and I were having some uh, pasta and some uh, sub uh, sub sandwiches. In yeah, the, so we in were the there with you. We didn't. Even, yeah. Oh man. Not at all, I, not I, me. I loved you guys, man. I loved you guys because yeah, that's what we were doing. And you were you were sharing with me, which I thought was great during COVID. And I got no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, but we were we were we, talking about we were talking. I mean, he was. He, oh, and Mike Buschetti, Mike Buschetti, our friend Mike Buschetti. Mike, Mike, yeah, and then uh, what was the other guy who was there? Buschetti, uh, the kid. Yeah, is that his name? Oh, the kid from uh, the other actor. Oh man, I forget his from, name. From uh, from Goodfellas. From, from yes, uh, no, from oh. Bronx Tale. Yeah, no, no, Bronx. No, uh, uh, from uh, Die Hard Three. Well, he he was actually in some films, but one of the ones he was as a kid actor, he grew up. Oh, it was Bronx yeah. Tale. Yes, it was Bronx Tale. Yes, it was. Bro- yeah, it, it was, was a it was a Ago de Bronx. Ago. No, the tale. Uh, oh, go yeah. an Italian called I wish tale. I wish I knew that was you. I mean, I mean, I knew who. You, I think you've called our show years ago, if I am not mistaken. I thought we had you on years ago. Uh, do you remember I calling in the Wise Guys? Yeah, I might have done that when I was in Rikers. And uh, you guys were my only solace. I remember, I remember, uh, I remember, do you remember this episode of Woody Woodpecker? When uh, he, he, he was inside the music store and, and, and uh, one of the mobsters is running from the police and he jumps into the piano and, and Woody Woodpecker is trying to rat him out and, and point the police officer to the piano going, psst. Get the dough, the dough. And then he puts a gun in his mouth and he's like, Dodie, Dodie, Dodie. And he's playing the piano. Okay. You remember that? I remember that. I remember that. We're oh, on that you age. Do. Yeah, so Psst, the, the, youngst- the dough. You youngsters. The dough. I got to tell you, you youngsters out there missed a bunch of gush, gosh dang cartoons. If I heard. So, yeah, uh, those were those were good times. Yeah, good times. So, so let me ask you, where do you get the the. Is it just come to you like the voice? Do you create it yourself, or, or obviously, do they give you like an an idea what they're looking for? How does how did the, like JoJo Circus and uh, he's a, uh, like you said Gambit or even um, the Transformers? Uh, he's definitely. How, how does the voices come out of you? Where do you come up with them? Well, it's funny because if I'm creating something, I uh, sometimes they'll they'll give you a. Uh, they'll give you a picture and go, this is what the character looks like. And you go, I can imagine what the character would sound like, but I'm the king of, of, um, of replacements, you know, like I took over for Chris Potter as Gambit and the X-Men. I took over for, you know, Thor Ravenscroft as Tony. That's my thing. I've done like in the last few years, like uh, 30, 40 TV shows and movies where I've gone in and replaced. Oh my God. And yeah, let me, let me grab my list. Cause there's a one, there's a gosh dang pile of voices in there, and someone's going to get set on fire tonight. Hello? Was not that loud? <laughs> I saw a police academy. What was that, a cartoon? Yeah, uh, that was, yeah, it was some kind of cartoon thing. I, I did uh, 
you know, I, I played a cop on um, on TV on, um, but there's just a voice for uh, what do you call it? That the the CBC and the CBS or, or ABC? I can't remember. Anyway, for uh, uh, man, there's just so many. Let's I just say Nobogi <laughs> Tutta Gals. Yeah. Yes, a little Hey, do the do the neighbors ever complain <laughs> that there's too many people no, in your house? No, because they know who my father-in-law is, so I don't worry about it. Oh. Anyway, uh, you should back. you should have Sorry. a parrot in the in the window. Just just blame it on him. <laughs> That's my favorite joke. <laughs> you just fired my favorite joke about the guy who will get, he gets a he gets a parrot and the parrot comes home with him and all of a sudden the parrot's swearing like a trooper, swearing, swearing, swearing. And the guy gets really upset and he throws the parrot in the freezer. And then he feels bad. He goes back down, pulls the parrot out of the freezer. The parrot says, I, I, I feel really bad. We got off to a wrong start, sir. And he says, okay, okay, just you can come back upstairs, but you can't swear. He goes, I, I promise. Now, let me ask you one question. Uh, what did the turkey do? <laughs> I'm lost. Why am I not getting that? Oh, Turkey in the freezer. But I'm bummed. Yeah, so well, you know why? When you said Turkey, was thinking no Turk. So, like hey, wait. From so, Turkey. so you're you're part of Thomas G. Wage's band? Yeah, I play with Tommy. And I'm what what also, did you I'm play? The guitar. The oh, guitar. Oh. The guy. The oh. god that walked among those people. Anyway, you know. Uh, the, <laughs> We were supposed to bring Tony into our studio here, and uh, he had to cancel. But uh, they were coming in, and we were going to set up, and uh, I, uh, we, he ended up canceling all, all in, overall. But uh, I was, yeah, you were going to. I think it, somebody got sick, sick, sick at the time. It wasn't me, but one of the guys that got sick. Yes, sick COVID was a big problem at the time. Well, you so. have to come yeah. in the studio with him. I will. I've got to come with him because he's, he's my boy, you know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> but I'll, I'll tell you, um, yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll give you a list of some of the people I've, I've uh, voiced over for. And remember, these aren't caricatures like you'd, you'd get with a standard comedian. These have to be so exact that you can't tell. So, so you know, Pacino, Baldwin, Schwarzenegger, uh, Ben Kingsley, Clinton, uh, Bob Hope, Cary Grant, Casey Casey, Chaz Palmer. I love Chaz. How are you guys doing? It's great to be on your show again. What's up? Anyway, uh, uh, Colin Firth, the other night we, we saw Colin, it was wonderful. Uh, uh, Dennis Farina, one of my favorite Italians, right there. How you doing? Are you, you two better get involved. You, bet, you two better start getting more personally involved in your work. We're going to stab you through the heart with a pencil. You understand me? <laughs> you got you to be. You, you What's gotta, your favorite one? Oh, God, there's so many. Like, um, I've actually, I'll tell you who I've done for. So I've done Pacino for Pacino. I've done um, Patrick Stewart for Patrick Stewart. So like, hello, have uh, Wesley Crusher meet me in my ready room. Tell wow. him to bring a wet towel. That's I'm so hot. Yeah, uh, I've done Connery for Connery. That was a cool one. Um, I, I, this is a really cool story. I saw I had a, I was writing music for this TV series, and we had a little studio in, in Hollywood in the, on the Sony lot. And one day, I'd, I'd been parking in this spot for like months. And on one day, I come in, there's a guy parked in my spot. I'm like, you son of a, I'm going to call one of my uncles. Anyway, so I said, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I pull around the corner and there was a spot open. So I pull into it and this guy toots his horn. He goes, excuse me, that's my spot. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. He goes, uh, you know, my, my name's up there. And I go, I'm, I'm really sorry. He goes, you know what? Your car, it was a small Beamer. Your car's small enough. Just pull right up to the pole. I'll pull in behind you. I go, thank you, dude. So I pull up. He pulls in. And I'm walking by, I go, thank you. And I look up the sign, you're, you're, you're Jerry Frockheimer. And he goes, yeah. He goes, what's your name? I said, Tony Daniels. What do you do? I'm an actor. And he goes, really? Are you working? I go, yeah. He goes, not for long. I go, what? He goes, I'm kidding. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. And I come, so I come around the corner and this guy's getting into the car. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to give this guy a barrel full. And he looks at me and goes, excuse me, is this your spot? I go, um, you know what, Mr. Connery, you can park there anytime you want. <laughs> oh, thank you, son. It's nice. You know, so it was cool. Uh, I, so he I, parked there for three more days. I could tell that you could do a good Family Guy. Do you know the episode when uh, a Family Guy when he goes into the uh, the Sola Maria and uh, he talks to the uh, the guy behind the you know the counter of the deli 
with the mustache. Oh, he goes in with a mustache, Papa the Boopy. Remember that episode? Uh, I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you never saw it? Oh, you got to see it. I, I you, didn't see that one. But when I you get off the you, phone, I, you got to search it up. Uh, you I, gonna... uh, yeah, I, I, I filled in for uh, Seth MacFarlane on Ted 2. Hey, come on, Johnny. Let's go. Throw the ball. You know? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, they didn't let me do any of the swear words. I was so upset. Ah, tattoo. Boss, boss, let's go back to Fantasy Island. Ah, tattoo, you little monkey. You know, I just love that. That was yeah. a good show. <laughs> the plane. I got to hear a little Al Pacino now at this point. And then you brought it oh, up. Oh, now that you bring that up. Now, you want, this is the old Al, like what he does now. Oh, actually, he's, uh, he's in a bad way today. Uh, Tommy just called me. Uh, a really good actor friend of ours, uh, Bruce McVitie. Uh And I, I guarantee if you guys look him up, you'll know who he is. Uh, he passed today, and, and Al was really upset because... Sorry to hear um, that. Yeah. yeah, me too. When Tommy was doing American Buffalo with Al on Broadway, um, McVitie was Tommy's understudy, and so they all became friends, and Al was really good. You gotta, I, I got to tell you, Mr. I've met De Niro. How you doing? You guys are great. But, you know, I got I to gotta say... <laughs> To me, Al Al is the king, and I just love. No, De Niro was nice to me. I I, I was I went to uh, I was working for Harvey Weinstein. Anyway, so I was in this. I was in the office. Yeah, well, are you afraid to say that name? <laughs> no, no. Listen, he was listen. Nice to me the and, bottom line is I, a lot. A lot of things came to a halt. I mean, only yeah. only the people involved know the truth. But uh, he, he, but he was he was definitely a big funding for Scorsese, De Niro, and all the big big filmmakers. All the guys, you know, that's why it's hard to to get mad at him. I know. Listen, and back in the day, you had guys just going crazy and being silly. But and, you know, that was the that was the different time. And you know, you have to adjust. Like you you can't be, you know, hey honey, how you should doing sugar and all that stuff. It just doesn't fly anymore. Um, because you know the the world has changed, so you you've got to go with the flow. But um, but. I was there, and uh, I became friends with, with the security guard of the building. And he's like, uh, oh, and he was Jimmy again, dude. He says, Tony, can you stand to one side? I said, sure, Alex. Why? He goes, the man is coming down. So, And he goes, please don't look at him. I'm like, okay, whatever. So he gets off the elevator, looks at me, and he goes, how are you doing? I go, hello. It's nice to see you. Because I'm an idiot. You know, I just do his voice for him. And he looks at me and goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he walked out. I well, thought, I got I to oh tell you something. It's You're talking about De Niro. Uh, he yeah. actually, uh, this is my take of him. If you're, you know, in his face, like, uh, you know, starstruck and, uh, you know, uh, trying to, trying to maybe like, ask him for an autograph, that's the stuff that'll probably annoy him. But he is actually into comedy. So... So uh, if you do something like that, and many people have done it, he gets a you know he gets a kick out of it. You know he 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 actually likes comedy. So uh, yeah. So so you doing that you know probably tickled him. You know what I mean that's something that. He, well, to yeah. Tony, I, I, I got I got to say I want to let everybody know uh, you're going to be at uh, Mal Malvern Comic Fest. Malvern. Comic Fest. In Malvern, New yeah. York, on June 4th, uh, uh, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. And, and I told Gary, I don't know what it is, every time he does an event, it's always on the day I got I got my sister's, uh, se uh, I can't even say it right now. I can't, I, I, it's, it's not, uh, it's, a, yeah, it's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> but uh. I, I won't be able to do that. And then um, uh, also uh, June t uh, t uh, t 4th, you will be there. The Warriors will be there. Thomas G. Waits yeah, my, will be there. Uh, David Harris, yep. all our friends. Uh, Terry Mikos. Terrence Micus. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Everybody's going to be over there. Apache Ramos. Wanda's going to be there. And then my boy, Angel Salazar. Our boy, Angel there. Salazar. Uh, he's our buddy, man. My, he's the best. My but, brother, Joe D'Onofrio. Joe D'Onofrio, yes. Well, and, Brett, and, our, and our guest on May uh, 25th, uh, Brett Czar. Czar, is that you say his name? Yeah, that's how you say it. Azar, yeah. Yeah, Azar. Yeah, Azar. It's it's all going to be in Mount and and uh, uh, is it going to be a pack? Of, uh, it's Malvern, gonna be... New York, at One Norwood Avenue at the um uh, the Metrocade. In I don't even know what this is. The uh, there's the fifth uh, 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 five hundred and first Empire post? City Gar uh, Garrison Legion. I don't know anything any of this stuff. Uh, Gary's got to tell me. But, um, yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be a I lot of fun. I can't wait to see my boys, you know, because I'll be there with Tommy, and we're bringing Cedric, so we're going to actually play live. You know the kid that was playing keyboard that day? 
we were on the Johnny P show. Yeah. Uh, he's coming. So the three of us are going to do an hour long set towards the end of the day. It's going to be really nice. And I, I'm just really excited because David Harris is going to be there. Terrence Wanda, who I haven't seen in a few years and uh, Apache, my boy, Apache, Apache's daughter has sang for me. What a voice you guys. Oh my God. She is so talented and such a good kid. So it's, it's nice that uh, my warriors families come together. And the reason I got uh, connected with Tommy was I'd known Terrence Micus for about, uh, it's, it's a Greek name. Okay. The Terrence has got the last name is Greek. So just so you know, I learned it. It's good. Hi guys. You want some lucky? Shut up. Anyway. So Ter- <laughs> Terrence and I did a, a radio thing like 25 years ago. Uh, and then when they were doing that, that, um, get together back in Coney, uh, I had to go, you know, just to connect with Terrence. And then, and then that day, Thomas and I, I don't know what it was. We just hit it off and Apache and I hit it off. And then Lisa Maurer, that was my favorite of the Lizzie's. Um, she is like, uh, she was, I think she, to me, she was the cutest one. Tony, uh, you, see, I, I know you guys like Kate Clogan. Plugman, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Tony, Tony, <laughs> yeah. before we do our closing atzo, we usually do a count of three in Italian. But I'm before we do that, okay, yeah. it's going to be uno, due, tre. We're going to let you do the count. I'm going to give you four things. Si. You, you get ready now. Uh, wait, 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 wait. But right? before we're not, we're not doing the count. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, okay. no, no. Right. I got one more thing I want to throw at you. Uh, there's four things. You ready? The first okay. thing. Who was your favorite cartoon character growing up? It's got to be Bugs. I mean, I did a Bugs that you wouldn't believe. You didn't come poke. Yeah, but I just was, loved. Him. Yeah, he was definitely. He was a cool. Yeah. He was cool. Uh, all right, now we're going to uh, musician. Who was your favorite musician growing up? Oh, that's an unfair question because you, you got to know one of one of my yeah one of my best friends is Rick Emmett. He was is was is the guitar player for the rock band out of Canada called Triumph, and I also toured with them and I toured with Rush. Um, so I know a lot of big players, and then with them you know, I got to go out with Alice Cooper and hang out and uh, Thirty Eight Special, Molly Hatchet. So wow. all the uh, um, yeah there was a guy serious, named Paul. That, serious yeah, jam, oh, yeah, serious I, jamming going on. Dude, dude, I was hanging out with uh, Bad Comedy, and, and I'm like, uh, I said to this one guy, I go, excuse me, so um, we're, uh, the, we're at the crew table. I go, what do you do with the band? He goes, oh, um, I, I'm a singer. I, my name's Paul Rogers. And, I, and, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it was kind of – So, but, but um, who was the biggest influence on me? Oh, that's such a hard one because I guess my guys that I, I toured with and stuff were really good influence. Wow. But you know, of course, you, you love Jimmy Page and you love Eric Clapton and right. uh, and it, and then uh, of course Tiny Tim. Right. The last two, <laughs> actor and comedian. Okay, actor. Uh, top of the list, Al Pacino. Okay, comedian. Uh, comedian. Oh boy, that's a tough one because. To me, the king, for the longest time, the king was, um, uh, it, it had to be, oh, boy, this is so tough because there's so many good guys. Again, I worked at comedy clubs. Um, so it's Robin Williams. Be Richard Pryor. Yeah. Richard Pryor. Yeah. Richard Pryor. And then now it's Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's Tony, good. real quick, do uh, you have a website everybody can go check you out or book you or anything for anything? Yeah, TonyDaniels.com. Uh, on all the on all the socials, it's the Tony Daniels, but TonyDaniels.com, and uh, you know, and then you can always find me anywhere Tommy G is hanging out. Tommy G waits uh, because we're always doing stuff together. We we just finished a play called uh, White Man's Guide to Rikers Island, and uh, we were in it, and I did all the music for it as well. So I'm a busy, crazy dude. Yeah, that's the, well, there's and, another place to find you. It's at MalvernComicFest.com. For people who want to go, it's on June 4th, uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. All the Warriors will be there. And uh, uh, our buddy, uh, boy, you said Angel Salazar, uh, Joseph D'Onofrio. And uh, go stop and see our, our guest uh, also next uh, show, um, Brett Zarr, who from the Young Rock. Um, and uh, I, I'm telling you, it, it, it was an honor to have you on the show, uh, Tony. It really Th- was. Thank you. And- I, I adore you guys. And when you guys were on Johnny P, I was like, I was so impressed because I mean, first of all, you guys speak real Italian, which is great. Because my wife, she, she got a kick out of that because she's Calabrese, so you know the head is hard as a rock, and so 
<laughs> it's all good. And I just love it because, you know, I, I felt uh, I felt the kinship with you guys. And and Johnny Potenza is such a, a uh, Yeah, he's our boy. Man. He's our buddy. Uh, can you uh, Before you finish off with, with our, our, our slow, our, our big name, uh, so can you do us the wise guy show there? <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey. Great. Hey, you're listening to the wise guy show. And they're great. <laughs> Take it oh no! Oh, you got to do the count. Yeah. You got. It. Hey, Go ahead. Ready? A, do the count. It's Tony the Tiger. Uno, due, tre. Ah, so thank you so much, Tony, and uh, I'm looking forward to see you. Sure, I'm sure we're gonna run into each other at a con somewhere because uh, Gary eventually will book a date that I could make. But um, <laughs> it was an honor having you, and I, I I gotta say thank you for all the wonderful voices you give all of us uh, every day. Grazie, amici. Thank you so much. Arrivederci, Tony. Davis. Arrivederci, Roma. See, it's time for us to part. Tony Daniels, that was great. What a great uh, guy! I'm telling you, he he's got to be. I'm telling you, people that like that like say if you go to a hotel room at one of the cons and he's in the room like practicing his voice, people are like, "Did you hear was in that room?" Like you imagine, he's like skills. fifty people are in the room and uh, he's got skills. Yeah, but uh, we we've had so many people in over the years. Um, do voices and uh, nothing like this guy. This guy is a total legend. Um, and uh, you heard all the names he said he could do, and it, it's just we didn't even get into all this other stuff. Like I said, we got the Transformers, the JoJo Circus, which is a lot of people saying he's known for. Uncle Floppy and JoJo, Sir, I'm sorry, and JoJo Circus, nice, nice. Um, Rupert, Free Willy, Pippi Longstockings, all, all voices spawn, all good stuff. But um, I did want to mention what well, before we go, a few people. Uh, uh, Fabio Pompili was recently our Italian connection in Rome. Yes, Fabio! At the Fast and Furious uh, cars that were on set in Rome getting ready yeah. for their uh, thank new you for, movie. Thank you for, I don't know if you uh, noticed, but I, I said uh, uh, a little announcement and I sent it to him. And then all of a sudden he surprised me and he put it into the, uh, into the video. Yeah, that was, yeah, I heard it. That was yeah. great. Also, AC Mike, AC Mike Lopez show, season two. He just finished it. With his, uh, final, his final guest was Nelson C. Johnson, who was the author, uh, 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 who is an, who is an author, a former judge, lawyer, historian, but he's best known for the, the best-selling uh, book. Boardwalk Empire. Awesome. Uh, AC Mike with our, our with ambassador a, in Atlantic City. That's right. We have an ambassador Ocean in County. Rome, yeah. an ambassador in Atlantic City. We have an ambassador in uh, Australia. Australia. Julie Angelina, we haven't seen or heard from you, so we're going to be reaching yeah, out Pope to you. Yeah, Hopewell as well over there. Yes. Um, also, uh, I do want to mention uh, one more time, like I said I was going to do, um, May th is Mutz Madness Month. Go Mozzarella. to Jersey Pizza Joints on Facebook. Cast your vote for the best mozzarella in New Jersey. Uh, the uh, it start it started on May first. Uh, vote for your favorite mozzarella in New Jersey, and it's going to go through Memorial Day weekend. And the winner, we're going to try to be there and congratulate the winner. It's going to be an amazing uh, congratulations because guess why? We're going to try the best mozzarella in New Jersey. Yeah. And uh, look, let's face it, mozzarella is uh, an amazing uh, thing. And uh, ah, mozzarella, go guy, my baby. Guy Matson and the Jersey Pizza Joints crew and the Jersey sand Sandwich Joints crew, you guys are the best. I'm so honored to be a capo in your on your Out page. Of the tree of life, I pick me a plum. Yeah, the best is yet. To come, but, um, and we want to say uh, uh, hello uh, and uh, thank you all you guys for tuning in. Uh, Joey Cat, Biagio couldn't be here tonight. Um, the wise guys are are working on doing amazing things. You don't even know what we're working on. You will hear about it soon on our page. We will post it. Uh, a lot of good things. Again, the best is, is yet, yet to, to come. come, and babe, won't that be fine? Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. You've seen the sun, and you ain't seen it shine. Still, it's a real good bet. The, the best, best is yet, yet to come. come. Best is yet to come. And oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well. 
I guess that does it for tonight. Again, let's thank Tony Daniels, the voice specialist who just uh, you heard. Yeah. Also, let's thank Mike Marino and the Uncle Louie Variety Show. Yes, we sir. will see you guys in Utica this weekend, and then we're going to go see you in um, uh, West Nyack the following weekend. Also, uh, Mike will be at uh, Genevieve Rossi's uh, Attack of the Killer Chickens premiere. Um, it's going to be a great week. And a great two weeks, and then we're going to go into into June and then July, and then we're going to have a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned to the Wise Guy Show. We got a lot of things happening, and it's only going to get better. So on that note, I want to say thank you to our engineer, Roberto Santos, on the boards, and Annette, the talent coordinator, who handles all the talent. And, and um, again, I want to thank Gary Demers for getting uh, Tony Daniels. Gary, uh, thank you so much. And... Uh, in uh, Malvern, New York, uh, your your Comic Con, Comic Fest, uh, uh, we wish you the best. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you at a, a one in uh, in New Jersey um, soon. And uh, on that note, we're gonna end the show with uh, a video, another remix video by Italian singing sensation Biagio, yeah, no. called "You and Me" by Alice, originally by Alice Cooper. And then uh, your our June 26th video of Festi Italiana. We're only going to keep going, doing amazing things. So we'll see you June 25th with Brett Azar from uh, the Young Rock. And uh, thank you guys for joining. Have a great have a great weekend. Buonanotte. Uno, due, tre, azzo!
Starlight Productions presents Sunday afternoon, June 26th, Festa Italiana at the outdoor event space at the Franklin Steakhouse in Fairfield. Headlining direct from Canada, classic recording artist Franz Jolie. Franz Jolie. Italian singing sensation Biagio. Plus, Uncle Louie's Variety Show. That's Biagio. Franz Jolie. Hosted by CBS FM's Joe Corsi and Paul Bruno. It's Festa Italiana at 1 p.m. Sunday, June 26th. Biagio. Franz Jolie. Joe Corsi. Paul Bruno. And special guest from the Wise Guy Show at the Outdoor Event Space at the Franklin Steakhouse in Fairfield. For tickets, go to festa.eventbrite.com. with you one of these days, wise guy, and when I do, pow!